Hey, 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 Sharon Horn Elsom here, but you can call me Pajama Grandma. In case we haven't met yet, go and put hashtag pajama in the comments below. So you know it's the first time you're being exposed to the Pajama Grandma. Today, in this episode, we're going to chat about what an actual plan, because if you have been exposed to me at all in the past, you realize that I produce a lot of content. I put a lot of stuff out in it. I think that it's informative and helpful to people, but it hasn't really been delivered in a consistent, structured way. Unless I'm doing a 30-day challenge, which then it is on purpose and it is structured. And those, I think, have been um, really, really structured and well thought out. But the vast majority of my daily content is, you know, I wake up in the morning, I have a topic, I do a daily scare share, and that might stimulate my thinking on a topic. But it's sort of like, what do I wake up with? as an idea in the morning that I'm thinking about, and that becomes the topic of my content more often than not. And today I realized <clears throat> not the best strategy, not the smartest way of operating, not the best way of doing anything. And actually I started to realize it a long time ago, but it keeps rearing its ugly head, or not its ugly head, but it, it keeps coming into my attention a lot over the last week and a half or so. And I finally realized today as I am doing a big project, I need to get my head out of my you know what and actually do what I say and what I teach everybody else to do. And instead of doing it half ass, I need to do it with my whole ass and I need to jump in with both feet and do it right. And that involves spending a little bit of time sitting down, planning and thinking about what I'm going to deliver over the next probably, I want to say 60 days, but maybe it won't be 60 days. But going forward, it's going to be a lot more structured and a lot more consistent. In my daily activity and I started to grab my handy dandy notebook and actually map out <clears throat> and grab a piece of paper because I still plan things the old-fashioned way I just grab a piece of paper and I just start going down and brainstorming the topics that I'm gonna talk about and then <clears throat> I'm, I'm actually doing these in the order that I think they need to be discussed for example tomorrow I'm gonna start with my epiphany bridge story why am I doing what the heck I'm doing with respect to this women's summit why do I even why did I even decide and how did it come about that there should be a women's summit and then I want to start sharing my journey of exactly how I'm putting that together how I'm putting the pieces together what I'm doing how I'm researching it how I decided on it how I'm getting speakers because boy am I getting a lot of speakers that have come and now it's morphed into being a just a one-time summit to I'll be doing at least four next year at least four um, we've already got the first three topics and and some of the speakers lined out for each of those and so now it's a matter of <clears throat> And how I gathered the information. How did I get the information? How did I find speakers? I still have not even hit up my personal Dream 100 list of who I want to be speakers on this Women's Summit. So it's, it's been a really fun and incredible process. But I realized it needs to be more planned out and formalized. I need to structure my content specifically for that and start delivering it and creating and getting a group of women together, my own tribe, so to speak, of people that will be participating in the summit as speakers and as people that just come and, and absorb the free content to help them grow their business. So I started actually planning and mapping out day one, day two, day three, day four. What does that have to look like? And what am I going to be doing in terms of providing information and topics as I go about that? And of course, you're going to hear about that on this segment because this is where I spill my beans about everything that I'm doing as I transition from my offline brick and mortar world to the online world and what's working and what's not working. And <clears throat> what hasn't been working for me personally has been my lack of focus and my lack of clarity. And I discovered that if people don't know what I can do for them, then they don't, they aren't attracted to me. Now, part of this, the first topic of the Women's Summit is all about customers. The first focus, and I haven't come up with a theme yet, but I kind of like to have a theme for them that runs throughout all of the summits, no matter how many we do, and then maybe a specific, more tailored theme for each summit. But the focus of this first one is all about customers. So everything related to customers, attracting new customers, um, what you do with them when you get them, keeping new customers, retaining them, the lifelong value of a customer, anything customer related, all the different ways of finding and attracting and getting customers will be discussed on this very first Women's Summit. All women speakers for women business owners. So as part of that, how are we going to go about making that happen? How are we going to go about structuring that and making it 
um, make sense to the participants. Well, somebody challenged me. I recently participated in a challenge, and I know I've mentioned this, called One Funnel Away. And as part of that, I created a five step, the five best ways to get customers coming to you and attracted to you for free. And I put that in a video series so that people would consume it one day at a time and actually do the thing that is taught in the, the short video every day. Now, someone out of that challenge challenged me to come up with and get 5,000 visitors to that site, basically using the strategies that I teach and whatever else I can come up with. But the caveat is I can spend zero dollars. I'm not allowed to spend any money on advertising to get those 5,000 visitors. So as part of that journey, I'm going to be sharing how I go about doing that as well over the next, I'd like to do it in 30 days. So, or sooner, of course, but I'm sharing how I'm rolling that out and how I'm doing that and how I'm actually getting those 5,000 people to the site, to this, this landing page, this free offer, because it's free to get this. Um, all you have to do is change, you know, exchange your email for it. Um, how do I get people to that page? Well, the first thing I did yesterday was I changed the link to the page because the link to the page was just randomly generated by the site that I created on. It was super hard to remember. I couldn't even remember it without copying and pasting it, much less could I share it on social media and when I'm doing things like publishing. So what I did is I changed the path to that yesterday to something easy that I could remember and share. So people, as I talk to them, can click on it or can go to it and they can actually put in their email and help me get to that 5,000. And I think there'll probably be some cool rewards for people that help me make that happen. I haven't gotten to that part yet, but that'll be, of course, one of the strategies along the way is um, finding ways to, you know, incentivize people without paying them to actually share that link and share that message and share that information with their people as well. It's called a Dream 100 Strategy by Russell Brunson and Dana Derricks and all their teams. So if you would like to check out what that is and actually do it along with me to attract people to your business for free, it's HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash Sharon Horn with an E, S-H-A-R-O-N-H-O-R-N-E dot com slash Get them, G-E-T-T-H-E-M, as in get them customers, get customers, get them coming to you. So I thought get them was a lot uh, easier to remember, and my name is easier to remember than, and that was the domain, so that wasn't a big deal. I could remember that part, but it was a bunch of random letters and characters, and I couldn't remember that, and nobody else was going to remember that. But pretty much everybody can remember get them. I want to get customers, get them coming to me. So that's what I'm working on today, adding the structure, doing my normal content creation and things. It is actually a holiday week here, and I totally lose track of holidays. So we'll be doing things with family and friends and having an awesome week. But that doesn't mean I won't be working on this amazing project and a bunch of other things that I will be sharing with you every day because that's what I do. So go out, make it a fantastic day. It is going to be an awesome day for me and you as well. And I will, of course, be with you tomorrow.